Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to the unboxing of this little baby, the Resviki from Thomas Lavinka from Czech Republic, an F3L competition glider. And let's see what's inside the box. So let's crack this open. Okay, okay, and here comes the first big part. It's the standard carbon rod, nice thin walls. So here are some cables for the spoilers, I guess, and some connectors. I stab it with it. Here, these are the hinges. These are the servo mounts, I guess. Nice sticker. Do I hold it in the right direction? Yes. Nice sticker. And the accessories. So these are these standard plastic hinges oh nicely printed uh 3d printed servo mounts this is the the mount for the rudder so this goes this way i haven't looked it up yet maybe you can see that the blacks it's not so easy here's the toe uh, here's the hook it's an adjustable hook i guess you loosen the screw and then you can move it along in the, in the fuselage. Magnets and some screws. So, first pieces of baza, baza sheets. Ah, that's, that's beautiful. That's really nice. That's a re remarkable quality. The lines are very thin. This is like four millimeters of baza. You see there's almost no coal uh, blackening from, from the laser. It all went smoothly through. The, the bars also is very, very lightweight. Quality is good. The shiny surface. Oh, nice. That's very nice. You can see densely packed pieces. Very nice bazaar. Really love it. Let's move on to the plywood and more stirrable stuff simple and easy packaging list okay this is some yeah three millimeter plywood I guess pieces mainly for 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 the fuselage. This is then the covering, the outer covering. Here you see the cutouts where you can access the battery and your optional switches or whatsoever. Where you power on the airplane then, maybe. So what else do we have? Some nice lightweight push rod tubes is there already something inside i guess the push rods are already inside they seem to be very thin how do i get them out these are this is the wing joiner like steel pretty plain and basic we'll check out the weights later on can't get them out these are simple alloy tubes where you fit in the, the wing joiner so the, the, the wing pops on here. So and finally, this is the last piece that I found in here. A complete plan, maybe. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh. This is awesome. You can build two wings in parallel. And here's the elevator. And yeah, here you see the fuselage. There's the rudder there. This is great. But I guess you need a plan actually because there's no manual how to build it. There is a, a picture series 
are available on the web. I put a link down in the description. Because you stick to the plan and you stick to the pictures and the rest is all up to yourself. Well, now let's go through the pieces just in a quick run. So this is like the ingredients of the accessory uh, bags. We had is list descriptions and bottom tubes are 1.5 millimeters and uh, the push rods are uh, 0.6 millimeters see here the plywood this is this is uh one millimeter plywood nice sturdy this is three millimeter millimeter plywood and finally these are the the balsa sheets um, this is for the inner section two pieces one millimeter of plywood then this is the inner tip, the, this at least, and this one is definitely for the rudder and the elevator. And these are the sheets for the upper covering. So it's a half D box uh, wing layout. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to building this plane. I'm really excited. And I think it's an almost complete uh, build kit. At the moment, I can't think of something that's missing. So let's check out some weights. Um, what we got here is like the, the wing joiner, the steel rod. It's a five millimeter steel rod. So this comes in at 35 and a half. So maybe this is up to dispute if you want to have a really lightweight build. The two alloy. Uh, tubes four and a half grams so yeah that's that's nice that's that's okay for the tail boom the carbon rod let's check out the diameter 17 millimeter at the start to 10 17 to 10 and comes in so this is 14 and a half grams this What's the length actually? This is uh, for comparison. This is a carbon rod made by R RNG from Germany. This is slightly longer and this is 800 millimeters. So I guess this will be like, I'm missing like five centimeters. So this will be 750 millimeters long. So 14 and a half grams. With this diameter that's a nice weight that's that's absolutely okay let's check out the the hook yeah, it's three millimeters so that's very sturdy so absolute no issues with uh, stability or whatsoever so maybe you could use a lighter one like two millimeters so the whole thing is like six grams seven amounts i think we are light yeah Three and a half, uh, one and a half grams. Sorry, one and a half grams. So well, before it gets cold in my garage, I'm gonna finish this unboxing. And if you have any questions, simply put them in the comments section below the video. I'm gonna also link to the RC Network thread, where we, in a bigger group of people, gonna build this plane, and discuss some details. So there, you also can ask some questions. And I will be back with some build impressions and maybe some troubles that I'm going to bump in the next time. See you.